ring light is out, I just filmed two videos. So I wanted to go ahead and start off this weekend in my life vlog while the ring light is out because the lighting's good, it's out, I'm already in this spot. I've already talked in this spot for way too long. Um, so yeah, I just filmed two videos. I'm being really productive this weekend. It's absolutely insane. By the way, my name's Lauren, if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not. Um, I'm being really productive. I'm filming a weekend of my life. I just filmed two videos. I'm filming a video tomorrow and then I'm filming a video on Tuesday. So that's five videos that I'm filming in a week. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. But I'm being super productive this weekend because I'm just trying to get, my creative juices are flowing. I'm just trying to get these videos up and out and content up for you guys. But I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog and um, we're, just, we're just getting stuff done. And I need to go to Sephora, pick up some stuff. There's other stuff that I needed to do as well, but I forget. I wrote it down. I wrote it down because I knew I would forget what it was. I also had to order a new memory card because my memory card was starting to like crack at the corner and I just thought the worst in that situation and said what if I film a whole entire video and I can't upload the footage because my memory card stops working so I got a new memory card and um, I also switched around the settings on my camera a little bit you guys probably can't tell but i'm really hoping that it's better quality i don't know sometimes it's hard and you can't really tell when you switch around the stuff or the settings on your camera until you upload the footage and start going through it and editing it so i really hope it's good but anyways i'm gonna put this stuff away and um i'll talk to you guys in a sec I need to add some links to a video that I'm going to upload and I think I'm going to post it tomorrow, but who knows? Honestly, I might get impatient and post it today. I'm just weird like that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to fix this tripod. Um, let me clean this up. I just, I just got a package in the mail from Amazon with my favorite. I need to adjust this. My head is cut off. Nut Pods flavor. It's the coffee cake flavor. I can't find this in store, so I buy it off of Amazon and it comes in a pack of three and it's unsweetened and dairy free. And it just, that's where I get it. I get it from Amazon. I can find my other favorite one in Whole Foods, so it's fine. My other favorite is the toasted marshmallow one. So those are my two favorites. I'm just gonna open this up right now. So that way I can put them in my fridge, but you don't have to refrigerate these until you open them, but I just immediately put them in the fridge after I take them out of the box. So I just wanted to share because this flavor is so good. I used to really love the cinnamon swirl nut pods flavor, but since trying coffee cake, it just, it tops it. It's so good. So I'm just going to link some stuff for this video and then maybe upload the footage from the videos that I just filmed, but try and hold back from editing it because once I get into editing, I just like lock in and I'm sitting there for three or four hours and yeah, I just, I don't, I don't want to get into editing yet today. So maybe tomorrow, but for today, I want to go to Sephora and get some stuff that I need and I think the trick what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do it for pickup so I think that's the trick to like not spending or buying stuff that you don't need with Sephora because it's easy to go into Sephora and say okay I need this and this and then you go in and you end up finding another product or two more products or three more products go and do pickup for it so i'm gonna buy the stuff online and then i'm gonna go and pick it up and it's right at the front to pick up so i just grab my bag and i leave after and then i'm not shopping around buying stuff that i see and don't necessarily need so that's my little money saving hack for sephora 
Um, I know it is the sale and just because it is a sale, it's easy to be like, oh, because it's a sale, like let me just look for stuff or try and find things that I want but don't necessarily need. So I need, I think, two things. Since I need those things and it's a Sephora sale, I'm just only getting those things and picking it up and leaving. So it's my little hack. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna link this stuff and um, then by that time, it'll probably be time to go pick up the stuff from Sephora. Just got out of Sephora. Got just a few things. Taylor's calling me. Where, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, Taylor was FaceTiming me. Um, I drove back home. Well, I w got on the phone with Taylor and was FaceTiming her for a little bit. And then I got back home, looked up a few recipes for dinner, and edited a thumbnail. I think that's all I did. Um, Christian and I are cooking steaks for dinner and we're doing twice baked potatoes and I'm making mine dairy free. So it's going to be fun because I've never tried it dairy free before. I've only eaten it the original way. So I made a little list. This is just, I'm doing, picking up some quick things just for dinner and then tomorrow I'll do like the grocery restock for the week. Um, I need to run to Target though before I go to Publix because I did a drive up mobile order. So I'll pick that up really quick and then I'll go to Publix and then we'll come back and we'll start dinner. I'm so excited. I am currently drinking this Spindrift sparkling water. I love sparkling water in the orange mango flavor and it's so good. This is probably my favorite flavor and then second favorite is the raspberry lime. But the orange, mango, raspberry, lime are both so good. I keep them in my fridge. They're just delicious. I realized that I never shared what I got from Sephora. So it just I just got two things and they are repeat purchases. So I get a lot of questions on my eyelashes and if I do anything and what I use. Unfortunately, I don't use anything to help lengthen them, help volumize them, anything like that. I have always had long eyelashes as a kid growing up. I know that's not what you want to hear. It's not a good answer, but I've always had long eyelashes when I was in first grade. My first grade teacher used to always ask if I was wearing mascara. So they've always just been long and they curl. I don't even curl them. They just curl really well on their own and stay that way. My trick to help them look really good. I find using two separate mascaras works really well. So I use a volumizing one and I use a lengthening one and the combination is just perfect. I don't know if by the time this video is posted, the Sephora sale will still be going on, but if it is or if it's not, I'll still link it because it's one of my favorite products. I've been using it for a year now. This is probably like my fourth tube of it and it is the Merit Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. I first tried this product because I was sent it and I was hooked right after that. It is the most incredible mascara ever. It truly lengthens your eyelashes so much. <laughs> they like hit my sunglasses or blue light glasses when I apply this and it's just perfect. So it's in the color Perfect Black. I don't know if they have other colors, but I just got the black one, but it's so good. And it's a clean beauty brand. I love all of the Merit beauty stuff. I love their blushes, their highlighter, their mascara, basically everything. Oh, their um, foundation stick. I wear that every single day to work. So everything Merit Beauty is so good. I highly recommend that brand. But um, I just picked up another mascara from Sephora. 
because I needed it. It was running low and I was like scraping the inside of the bottle. And then what I use for volumizing, so this is a little bit more expensive. It's $26 or around that. This is very cheap. So usually I'm not one to invest in like a mascara because I really just didn't see the point in spending a lot of money on mascara until I found this one. This one is worth it. So got that and then I pair it with the Rocket by Maybelline in the blackest black shade. And this is a volumizing mascara. I needed a new one so I picked it up from Target when I got my mobile order. I've just been using this mascara for so long. I think since high school I've been using this mascara. So that's what the one looks like. And okay, so those are my two mascaras. Now I can throw out the other ones. And then next what I got is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, look at my hair, Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. And this is the powder that I use underneath my eyes. It is the only, I only use it underneath my eyes because it, it's intense. So I originally had it in a sample and loved it and I've just been making it last. I love it but you have to use a little bit at a time because it can cause intense flashback when you take photos. So I only use it underneath my eyes and I kid you not, it is the most smoothing powder I have ever used. I have... It's really easy to have a product look cakey underneath my eyes and certain powders, that was the oven to put the potatoes in. Give me one second. Sorry, I had to put the potatoes in because we are making some twice baked potatoes, like I said, and they obviously have to cook in the oven for an hour before you can even scoop out this stuff in the inside. So I just had to put them in, but um, what was I saying? So it's easy to have a product look really cakey underneath my eyes. And with certain powders, like the Anastasia powder, right? I think that powder. And then there's just like other powders. Like mostly every powder looks really bad underneath my eyes. It makes my eyes look dry underneath them. It makes them look textured. It makes them look like cakey and heavy. This though is so smoothing and doesn't settle into fine lines it just it honestly looks airbrushed it looks like you literally took an airbrush filter and applied it to underneath your eyes it's insane but you have to use it sparingly because it does and you have to blend and i just use it with like a little setting brush from real techniques take it and then I just dab and then I'll like dab it into the lid to get the excess product off and I'll like dab it in and then I'll swipe and like blend it out and the best way to tell is if there's any flashback just take your camera flash just take like a photo really quick of underneath your eyes and it will tell you where you need to blend so best powder for underneath your eyes I mean I don't really care about all over my face because I mean the product just I don't know it can get so heavy underneath my eyes so I use a separate powder for underneath my eyes than I do for my whole entire face so I'll link this and I'll also link the two mascaras and um, yeah so those are the products I swear by uh, mascara yeah best mascaras ever anyways I'm gonna continue editing a video I know I literally can't chill and then I will talk to you guys when I actually start prepping dinner because I did find dairy-free sour cream, which I was worried about finding. So I'm excited to see how these dairy-free twice-baked potatoes turn out. And I'll obviously keep you guys updated just in case you guys are, are dairy-free or want to try not eating as much dairy. Okay, I just took the potatoes out of the oven and then I'm gonna cut them in half and scoop all the potatoes into each bowl. So I'm gonna do one bowl for Christian that's regular and then mine is dairy free. I'll link each recipe down below. I just had to do some math on them and try to figure out because I'm gonna do three halves. So I'm gonna do three halves of the potatoes for me and then three halves for him. And then we can always eat the leftovers tomorrow or 
the next day. So I'm trying to do some math based on each recipe. So I'm gonna put the stuff into each bowl and yeah, the recipes will be down below. Just finished combining all the ingredients. They look almost identical, but this one is completely dairy-free. So hopefully it tastes good. We're gonna put the ingredients back into the potatoes and then cook the potatoes. So for my three-year anniversary with my company, they got me flowers and a Starbucks gift card and all these nice things and a bottle of wine. So I've never tried this, but I love Sauvignon Blanc. So hopefully it's good. It is Groth Sauvignon Blanc from Napa Valley. And it's actually a family owned and farms sustainably to create a better wine for both today and for future generations. I read the back and I just, I love that. So maybe I'll have a glass. I am working out tomorrow morning. So I don't know how that's gonna affect me. Maybe I'll water it down with ice. I don't know. I don't know, should I do it? Maybe I'll just have like a really small glass. Okay, let's see if I can reach these. People grilling down there. My glasses. Can you help me? Yeah, wait a second. Independent. Oh wait, let me put ice in it. I actually enjoy wine with ice in it. It's good. Have you heard of this brand before? Groth. I think that's a pretty good brand. It's um, a family owned winery and they farm sustainably to create better wine for both today and for future generations. Okay, this is how the dairy-free one turned out. I mean, you can tell that it's dairy-free because the cheese <laughs> doesn't really melt. This is perfect. But Christian's turned out so good. And the steak is cooked perfectly. vlogged much today because I was actually filming a separate YouTube video this morning and that will probably be up after this video and I think that's four videos for YouTube in one weekend and I think that's a record for myself I think the most I filmed is maybe three or has it only ever been two 
I don't know, but four is a lot. I think I need a weekend from my weekend. I feel really exhausted, but it will all be worth it. I think all the videos that I am, I have filmed will turn out really well and I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to see them. I'm sure, well, two of them will already be up and then the third one that I filmed will be up after this one. And yeah, Christian and I went to Clean Juice, which is a juice and smoothie place just a little bit ago and then came back. I got this really good chocolate smoothie and if you have a clean juice near you, you need to try it, especially if you want something sweet. It's the it's called the chocolate one and it has cacao, maple syrup, almond butter, banana, cinnamon and almond milk and I got it with hemp protein and it was so good. And Christian got this green one this tropical smoothie uh, with kale, pineapple, banana, coconut oil, and coconut water. And then he got whey protein. And they were really good. And then, um, yeah, we just ate a little lunch. And now I'm sitting on the couch watching YouTube. I've been having some serious issues sleeping in lately. When my body just gets super used to waking up consistently at the same time each morning it's hard for me to break that routine even on the weekends so last weekend and this weekend included i've been waking up at around 6 30. yesterday i kind of slept in until 6 50 but today i woke up at 6 02. so and i've been going to bed late so i've been getting like six or seven hours of sleep which isn't enough i usually get nine or ten so I'm hoping that I'll go to bed early tonight and at least get a good night's rest in that way, even if I have to wake up early. Hopefully I get at least nine hours. Anyways, I um, wanted to fill you in on what I've been doing because it's four o'clock and I just was focused on another video. Basically the whole morning to afternoon of this Sunday. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube and hang out. I need to go to the grocery store and get some stuff for lunch. Christian has a work event Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I won't be meal prepping this week. So yeah, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and hang out and I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.